Welcome to Active Campaign. Let's get started by reviewing some features. Active Campaign gives you the options of creating personalized and targeted emails in just a few minutes. Any content you want to add to your email, you can simply drag and drop over. You can create targeted emails by using conditional content blocking. Conditional content blocking allows for you to set a condition to a content block. If your contact opens the email and matches that condition, they'll be able to view the content specific to them. So here, if our contact doesn't have tag taking call to action, then they'll see the call to action button prompting them to do so. To import an automation, we will start by clicking on New Automation, then select Import Automation, type it in, and your automation will appear. ActiveCampaign offers plenty of automation recipes you can access by going to New Automations and selecting the recipe of your choice. Goals allows for you to remove a contact from your automation once they've achieved a goal. You can set a goal by placing it at the end of your email sequence. You'll name the goal. And then you're going to set a condition so the system recognizes the goal has been achieved. Active Campaign offers goal reporting so you can see exactly who achieved the goal and how long it took for them to achieve it. And we can see exactly what time they entered the automation and what time they achieved the goal. We also are able to rank the goal as well. We can see your top performing tags that were used, top performing list, and your completion times as well. Sometimes you're unsure of the best strategy to use, but as time goes on, you can increase the effectiveness of your automated follow-ups with split testing. So we'll start by dropping the split action into your sequence. There's an even and conditional split. We'll go with the conditional split, where the first 100 contacts will go down pathway A, and the rest will go down pathway B. Since I already created the emails and wait periods that I want to use, I'm just going to simply copy and paste the sequence and place under path B. Now let's add a go-to action to save time and rope your contacts back into achieving your call to action goal. Now let's take a look at this engagement scoring sequence where you can adjust the score anywhere in your workflow. We'll start by adding five points and then we're going to set them to expire after two weeks. Lead scoring allows you to add and reduce points to your contacts as they engage with you over time. Thus, we can spend less time on disengaged contacts and more time with your true fans. You may view what sites your contact has visited via their contact record. Under Recent Activities, we can select Site and Event Tracking to see what pages your contact has visited. One way we can trigger contacts into an automation is once they visit a certain web page. We'll select a trigger, web page visited, the domain, and just type in the page name. With Active Campaign Deep Data Integrations, we can review purchase history within the contacts record. If you scroll down past the information, you'll see an e-commerce box listing how much this contact has spent with you in a lifetime, also to their last order or product name. Wouldn't it be great to upsell your customers after they made a purchase? Well, with Active Campaigns Makes a Purchase Trigger, we can. Using our deep data integration, we can trigger a contact into an automation and segment by their purchase history.
With attribution, you can see what touch points your contacts went through and what sources they came from prior to making a conversion. You may see attribution within a contacts record. You'll be able to view UTM sources like Google or Instagram and see where your leads came from and also which conversions they may have triggered, like a course signup. You can see the exact time and day of the conversion. ActiveCampaign also enables you to trigger contacts into an automation once they completed a conversion. If you go to Add Star Trigger, select Conversion Occurs, and even segment using your Facebook source. You may also add new conversions anywhere within your workflow. Like a webinar sign up. With Active Campaign, you can send personalized automated texts for appointment reminders or promo codes. You may start by drag and dropping a Send SMS action, where you'll be able to create a text, personalize it using personalization tags, and even schedule when it should send.